Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Andre and I found some venison in my freezer. So let's make some venison meatloaf today. Nice and simple today, we're going to just open this up, get it in the bowl. But I'm going to have to use some pork as well because this stuff is really lean and it just wouldn't be very good just on its own like that. Pork collar butt or the capicola piece. I'm gonna take some of this and grind this up as well. So like you can see here, great marbling. That's just gonna to add to the whole meatloaf. There we go. Well, you know me, I'm a stickler for always weighing out my spices. So I did weigh the, the meat component and I'm gonna weigh out the spices just that way I know what I did and I can reproduce it again. And I just don't wanna overspice things, especially with the salt. That's uh, where I'm more worried than anything. Get that in first. I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. Today, nothing really complex. We're gonna add some paprika, fine black pepper, garlic, onion powder, and a bit of marjoram, marjoram, however you say that one. Now, instead of adding water, which I would normally do to help uh, keep it moist, what we're gonna do, and I'm only doing this because this is venison, this is a game meat, which is uh, a little stronger than normal. I've got some, a little bit of cognac. I'm gonna say like half a shot. And I'm using a red wine, just something that you would normally drink. I'm adding a little bit of breadcrumbs just to help. And one egg. Boop. There we go. It's getting nice and sticky, which is what I want. That way that protein's extracting. It's sucking up all that liquid. As you can see, there's no excess of liquid. So what we're gonna do, is take all this and try and make some room. I'm just gonna put it on here for now. I'm gonna have to reform it because I'm gonna actually take this and put it right on one of the trays in the smoker. I'm gonna just leave it right here uh, to chill out and uh, go get the smoker started quick and get this in there. So what we're going to do, I know it's going to be a little tricky, oh, 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 there we go. I'm going to get put it right in the middle like that, and uh, cause I don't want it directly in the hot zone. I don't want to blast it, but I don't want it totally over there. Okay, here we go. From experience, I'm gonna leave it in there for at least an hour and we're gonna come back and check because I'm only gonna cook this to an internal of 71, 72 degrees Celsius. I just want it fully cooked and then off and then uh, dive in. So I got a little bit of time, the meatloaf's in the smoker. I got these potatoes, Yukon Golds, and we're gonna make some uh, potato pancakes to go with the meatloaf. Just figured it'd go well with it. And we're gonna actually cook these on the grill on top of the firebox. Mm. A bit more. Garlic, onion powder. 
some black pepper. We are adding a couple eggs and a little bit of flour to help bind them together. Get those eggs broken up. Okay, it's been an hour and uh, let's take the temperature of this bad boy. <gasps> Ooh, that's looking very nice. 53 degrees Celsius, which is 128 Fahrenheit. A little ways to go. That looks beautiful. Okay, folks, we're back outside. I just took temperature. We're literally like two degrees or three degrees off. So another like five minutes. So I figured let's get these bad boys started. You got the police sirens going. Happy weekend. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a spoon as my amount. Get back there, flatten them out. Look at that, beautiful. Just gonna not touch them for a little bit. I wanna make sure it gets some nice color uh, on the bottom. Okay, they're coming along nicely. I think I should, uh, oh, look at the color, beautiful. I hope you guys are ready because I am done everything. And this thing's been resting for about 25 minutes. Woo! A little bit of juice leaking off, but that's okay. You guys ready? I'm ready. Mm. It smells so good. Let's just get that end. Slice a few slices off. Put you there. Oh yeah, look at that. Put you in there. Beautiful smoke ring. Nice and juicy. Mm. Perfect. That's what you want as a meatloaf. That's perfect. Got my fork. I'm just gonna just dive right in. That's good. You're not gonna be as smoky as a brisket because it's not been in there nearly as long. But it's definitely developed that nice smoke ring. The outside has a little smoke flavor to it. The inside tastes great. There's really no overpowering wine or cognac flavor. It just, I think they just add to the whole flavor. They don't, don't worry, they don't stand out. If you were to add a lot more, yes. But, but just adding a little bit, you enhance the whole flavor. Let's dig in with one of these guys. I like doing these. Mmm. That's a winner too. Well, overall, I'm very excited how this turned out. Turned out fantastic. Uh, this is something that anybody can do. Now, that doesn't just have to be venison. It could be elk, wild boar, uh, bison, any of those uh, exotic meats or more exotic meats, which are fantastic. They're healthy, full of vitamins and minerals. Yeah, I can't say anything bad about it. I just want more though. So I'm gonna finish off. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm gonna go eat off camera. Leave me some comments and uh, let me know what you think. And happy eating.